Hi, my name is Carrie Balloider and I'm from Comas, Ohio. And I'm doing my internship in Kenya, Africa. And honestly, it's been quite the love-hate relationship. But I just want to share with you how God has really changed my heart to really love this place and the people here through teaching me surrender. When I first got here, I hit culture shock really fast. And it was my first time being this far away from home for this long amount of time. And also with this culture, it's just really different. We have a lot more regulations here and restrictions. So less freedom, especially for us women being here. We can't look guys in the eye, otherwise that's like an invitation. And we don't want that. And women just aren't regarded as much here. So we were here for about um, two weeks and just going through life, still just struggling with being here and adapting. And then in the region, there came some unrest, so we had to leave. And that to me was just good news. I was so excited about this adventure, like, we're gonna get out of this place, it's gonna be so great. And um, so we went to Tanzania, it was so beautiful there, and we had less restrictions. And so we lived outside this village, and it was just like this family feel. And so it was so fun. Not everybody else on the team will tell you that, but I loved it. So Tanzania was just this big adventure for me and even moving to the second place that we stayed to in Tanzania, I just still was not ready to come back to our internship site here in Kenya. During that time, as I was just struggling with that and really starting to miss home a lot, um, the Lord was really speaking to me about memorizing scripture and just feeding my soul with the truth and what I needed because it's so easy to get into that complaining mindset. And so we mainly focused on the Psalms and um, just praising him, praising him in the midst of it because he's worthy. So then I went to another place and in that place I had some highs of internship, some really great times and also some really bad lows. Um, but the, the highs would have been just being able to help out in certain schools and um, I love Jathersize. So I was able to teach Jathersize for the kids BE class and that was super fun. And I also had the opportunity to meet up with a friend there, which was really exciting because then I was able to hang out with her one-on-one -on -one and really get to know her more on a personal level. So, so it's been really encouraging even as I get to know other friends, just from that specific experience with my friend, just seeing the fruit from past interns and how they've poured into her life. And that has really enabled me to just, you know, our friendship to really escalate because of how they've poured into her and um, just knowing how Jesus has these people in his hands. Part of my ministry here is that I've been visiting different schools and helping them and just making relationships with the teachers and hoping to show them more of who Jesus is. And that way, if we're able to influence the teachers with more love of Jesus, then they're the ones influencing the kids and then they'll grow up to love Jesus. And at one of the schools in particular, I've been doing uh, I've been taking interviews from the students and making profiles for them so that they will get potential uh, sponsors because the school is struggling a little bit and not all the students are able to pay for their school fee. So I've been working on that project and also just visiting a lot of friends in town and having some of the lovely people over to the house and just pouring into relationships. I'm really thankful for this experience to be able to have learned how to surrender even in a place that I didn't like as much and even thinking of going to the next area that I may even like more than I originally did here at first and being able to adapt and going with that same attitude of just surrender. One thing that I would tell my generation, I'd actually ask them a question and I'd ask them, what would you do if you were not afraid? 